people. Not rule of monarchs, not rule of the money, not rule of the mighty. Regardless of party, that means respecting free and fair elections, accepting the outcome, win or lose. It means you can't love your country only when you win. <laughs> Democracy means rejecting and repudiating political violence. Regardless of party, such violence is never, never, never acceptable in America. It's undemocratic, and it must never be normalized to advance political power. Democracy means respecting the institutions that govern a free society. I've spoken about the danger of election denialism, political violence, and the battle for the soul of America. Today in America, to honor an institution devoted to the defense of democracy, named in honor of a true patriot, I'm here to speak about another threat to our democracy that we all too often ignore. The threat to our political institutions, to our Constitution itself, and the very character of our nation. Democracy is maintained by adhering to the Constitution and the march to perfecting our union by protecting and expanding rights with each successive generation, including that little guy. He's going to talk about it. And it's OK. In my house, kids prevail, OK? to pay respects to the American cemetery near Paris. And there's something dangerous happening in America now. There's an extremist movement that does not share the basic beliefs in our democracy. The MAGA movement. Not every Republican, not even a majority of Republicans adhere to the MAGA extremist ideology. I know it because I've been able to work with Republicans my whole career. But there's no question that today's Republican Party is driven and intimidated by MAGA Republican extremists. Their extreme agenda, if carried out, would fundamentally alter the institutions of American democracy as we know it. My friends, they're not hiding their attacks. They're openly promoting them, attacking the free press as the enemy of the people, attacking the rule of law as an impediment, fomenting voter suppression and election subversion. Did you ever think we'd be having debates in the year, stage of your careers where banning books, banning books and burying history? Extremists in Congress more determined to shut down the government, to burn the place down, than to let the people's business be done.